Once in Moscow's orbit, Moldova has been looking for a new direction, tilting from Russia towards the West. Its government wants to move closer to the EU, but there's a problem. All of the gas here comes from Russia. So what do you do if Moscow turns off the tap? It's threatening to if Moldova doesn't sign a new contract at a higher price. The Russians have already cut supplies by a third. Just business, or is it? Basically, Russia is trying to punish Moldovan citizens because they decided to vote against a pro-Russian party at the parliamentary elections. So it's pure politics and nothing more. That's pure fantasy, thinks Gazprom. Russia's state energy giant says it'll gladly pump gas if there's a deal and if Moldova settles its debt. But is the Kremlin using energy as a weapon? Vladimir Putin recently called that accusation nonsense and tittle-tattle. Russia says it never mixes pipelines and politics, but if you've got a lot of gas, that gives you a lot of influence and a lot of power. And if you're a country like Moldova, which has been getting all of its gas from Russia, but now wants a closer relationship with Europe, that can give you a lot of trouble. Moldova has declared a state of emergency. This crisis centre is making sure the gas keeps flowing. The country is seeking alternative sources in Europe, but it's bad timing. Well, it's, it's the worst time to have a gas crisis at home. The prices are higher than ever. Can Moldova get all the gas that it needs at a price you can afford to pay if you don't get a deal with Russia? Well, you see the gas prices today. We don't know what, how high or how low they will be in two months or in five months, right? So I cannot tell you <laughs> whether this, these prices are affordable. In the town of Bielci, less gas means long queues at the propane station. Some of these cars have been waiting for three hours for fuel. For a government that has set a pro-European course, there is a danger here that amid a gas crisis, Moldovans may start to question the direction their country has taken. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Moldova.